statistics of staff members knowing computer operation and typing in a government office. So he's, he's talking about statistics of staff members who know computer operations and typing in a government office. So look at the columns, right? Length of service in year. So basically this is about experience. This is those who know computer operation. This is those who know typing. This is about those who know both. This is about total number of staff. And then in each cell, you see there's a, there's a, a cut and each cell is split into two halves, right? What does that cut indicate? Graduate versus non-graduate. So too many parameters here. People who know computer operation versus people who know typing versus people who know both. That's one level. Graduate versus non-graduate is other level. And service or experience, zero to three years versus four to seven years or more than seven years. So there are three different variables. Their skills, their graduation versus non-graduation and their experience. So keeping all three in mind, you have to answer the questions. And the first one is here on your screens now. So try it out. Approximately what percent of staff members with seven or more years of service do not know either computer operation or typing? Don't get confused. It is a regular data interpretation type of a question, a regular table. It's just that instead of giving one more table of graduates versus non-graduates within the same table, they have used a cut in each cell to indicate that. Now, I'm sure some of you have found or in fact, many of you have found this kind of a data interpretation uh, question, uh, you know, first of its kind, right? I mean, at least we have not solved this in the past, but then don't panic. It is as simple as a table given in any data interpretation question. It's just that instead of giving two different tables, one for, uh, you know, people having different skills versus one for, you know, graduates and non-graduates in each of these categories, they have clubbed both these two by splitting each cell into two halves, All right? That's the only uh, point to be noted here. So let's quickly understand the data first and then look at the four questions asked here. Okay, I know all of you have tried your best to get the answers. Of course, uh, some of your answers are definitely wrong because it's not matching with the others. So let's start. Here we go. Study the following data to answer these questions. Statistics of staff members knowing computer operations and typing in a government office. So this is some data, statistics is nothing but data. Data of staff members who know computer operation and typing in a government office. Now look at this interesting table here. The first column talks about length of service in years, length of service. So basically this is experience, experience in years. So zero to three years experience, four to seven years experience and over seven years experience. There are three categories. The second column is those who know computer operation. Third column is those who know typing. The fourth column is those who know both. So I think column number two, three and four is about skills. There are only two types of skills, computer operations and typing. And then the third column here talks about, I mean the fourth column here talks about people who know both computer operations and typing. Understand there will be some people who know only computer operations. There'll be some people who know only typing. And then there'll be a few who will know both. So this, this particular column here talks about both, both computers as well as typing. Okay. And the last column is total number of staff total number of staff. Now, ideally, there should be only one number in each of these cells. But as you can see, there's a uh, split in each cell, right? Each cell is divided into two halves. And what does this indicate? The division here indicates this indicates the breakup of graduates versus non graduates. So the top uh, left of the cell indicates graduates, the bottom right of the cell indicates non graduates. Now, how do you read the data? What does it mean? For example, let's let's look at this number 80. What does 80 indicate? 80 is in the four to seven years category. 80 indicates graduates because it is in the top left and 80 indicates people who know typing. So I can say there are 80 people who know typing, who are in the four to seven years experience category and who are graduates or there are 80 graduates having four to seven years experience in typing. That's understanding. Suppose we look at this number. What does it 40? What does this 40 indicate? There are 40 graduates having zero to three years of experience in computer operations. What does this number indicate? There are 20 non graduates. Remember, this is bottom right of the cell non graduates. It indicates non graduates. There are 20 non graduates having over seven years of experience in both computer operations as well as typing. Hearing it, you the, the most important part, the most critical part here is how do you read the data? Reading data is important. This 20 here indicates there are 20 non-graduates. 
20 non graduates having 7 plus years of experience in what in both computer operation and typing what does this 230 indicate there are 230 graduates having 4 to 7 years of experience this is total total number of staff total number of staff meaning total who know computer operation and typing in both in, in both the categories so there are 230 graduates having 4 to 7 years of experience there are 200 non graduates having 0 to 3 years of experience there are 160 non graduates having 7 years of experience right there are 200 graduates having 7 plus years of experience okay so this is how you read the data another important point to be noted here is this second column here which talks about skills right computer operation and then this one typing these people have idea on computer operation these people have knowledge on typing these people have knowledge in both but remember this is not computer operation only this is overall computer operation this is not typing only this is overall typing now what does it matter what what does it uh, tell you see i have explained this to you in our videos also right the word only plays a key role now 40 people no computer operation and 40 people no computer operation only are two different statements understand 40 people no computer operation and 40 people no computer operation only have got different meanings here what does it indicate 40 people no computer operations meaning out of these 40 there can be some people who also know typing out of these 30 there can be some people who also know typing out of these 60 there can be some people who also know computer operations because this data here does not indicate people who know typing only this indicates people who know typing so 60 people know typing but it does not mean that 60 people know only typing. Some of these 60 may also know computer operation. Some of these 50 guys may also know about computer operations. So you also have to be very careful about it. And this indicates both. They know both computer operations as well as typing. So for example, if I have to find out how many people having four to seven years of experience who are graduates know computer operations only. So this is the cell I'm referring to. But then only word is added. How many graduates having four to seven years of experience? No computer operation only. Now I know there are 60 graduates having four to seven years of experience in computer operation. But then I want to know how many of these graduates have knowledge in computer options only. How do I find that out? See, I know that in the same category, there are 30 graduates who know about both. In the same four to seven years category, there are 30 graduates who know about both computer operation as well as typing. So from 60, if I subtract these 30, I'll get my answer. So 60 minus 30 is going to be the value that we're looking at. How many graduates, how many graduates having four to seven years of experience have knowledge in computer operations only, have knowledge in computer operations only. So graduates having knowledge in computer operation is 60. Graduate having knowledge in both is 30. Take the difference of these two, you will get the graduates having knowledge in computer operations only. Understand the word only is a very important word when it comes to solving these type of questions. Right? And then we have discussed this in detail in, in uh, this topic of set theory as well. All right. So now that we have understood how to read the data and what are the underlying things that you should know there, let's start answering the questions. So the first question from this data is on your screens here. Look at this approximately what percent of staff members with seven or more years of service do not know either computer operation or typing approximately what percent of staff members approximately what percent of staff members with seven or more years of service so again we are referring to this row so forget about the first two rows reduce the confusion right we are referring to this one. Approximately what percent of staff members with seven or more years of experience do not know either computer operation or typing. Now this is important. Do not know either computer operation or typing. Now moreover, understand in this question, there is no mention of graduates versus non-graduates. Do you see the word graduate or non-graduate in this question? No. Which means it is for both. So you don't have to really worry about this line here in the last row. We are going to talk about total number of people. So how many are total people who have seven years of experience in uh, computer operation 50 plus 40 90 
how many people uh, in seven years of experience have knowledge in typing 50 plus 40 90 again how many of these guys know both 50 there are total 360 members having seven years of operation uh, seven years of uh, experience you're getting it so don't worry about the division of graduate versus non-graduate this is not considered in this particular question right so first understanding is we have to focus on row number three right second understanding is this breakup of graduate versus non-graduate makes no difference here in this question now read it again approximately what percent of staff members with seven year more years of experience now what's the total number of staff members in seven or more years of experience 360 total is 360 so out of this 360 approximately what percentage do not know either computer operation or typing do not know do not know either computer operation or typing and do not know either computer operation or typing how do you understand how do you get the value here do not know either computer operation or typing see this total is 90 so i'm looking at 90 90 50 and 360 right 90 90 50 and 360 now first of all we know that 90 people know computer operation 90 people know typing 50 people know both we have to find out how many of them do not know either this or that either this or that how do you get that how do you get that value How do you get that value? People who do not know either computer operation or typing. So from 360 people, you have to subtract the people who know computer operation. From 360 people, you have to subtract the number of people who know typing. But understand, in the process of subtracting number of people who know computer operation and number of people who know typing, you have subtracted this value twice. So you have to add that. You're getting it? So how do we do it? Uh, you know, people who do not know either will be equal to what? 360 is the total minus 90 minus 90 plus 50. Be careful. Minus 90 minus 90 plus 50. See, from total, see, these are the total number of people. I am removing all those people who know computer operation. I am removing all those people who know typing. So minus 90, minus 90. Why are we adding 50? Remember, this 50 is a part of 90. This 50 is also a part of this 90. You understand? 50 people know both. So when I say 90 people know computer operation, out of these there are 50 people who know both. Similarly, when you say 90 people know typing, out of these 90 there are 50 people who know both. So when I subtracted 90 and 90 here, I have accidentally subtracted 50 twice. I subtracted 50 in this case. I subtracted 50 in this case also. So that 50 has to be added. You getting it? You can say minus 90 and minus 90. No. There's a common region. No, 50 is a common number in both of them. So that 50 has to be added back. It has been subtracted twice. It has to be added back. So how much is that? 360 minus 180 is 180. 180 plus 50 is 230. So this is equal to 230. That's it. Now what is the question? Approximately what percent of staff members? Approximately what percent of 360 do not know either computer operation or typing? 230 is a number. So 230 is what percentage of 360 is the question. X is what percentage of Y? Or what percentage of Y is X? X by Y into 100. So 230 by 316 into 100. You're getting it? 230 by 316 into 100. Simplify and you'll get the answer. See, approximately 66.66 percentage. 66.66 percentage, approximately. How? If I assume this is 240. For, for the moment, let's assume this is 240. 240 by 360 is like 2 by 3. If I assume that this is approximately 240, this is 240 by 360, which is like 120 into 2, 120 into 3, 2 by 3. You know that 2 by 3, 66.66 percentage. So approximately 66.66 percentage. Understand, the real numerator was less than 240. The actual numerator was less than 240. Approximately, approximately we have taken as 240. Real or actual numerator was less than 240. If the numerator was less, the value will also be less. So it should be less than 66.66, slightly less than 66.66. It cannot be 48 or 36 or 68. It has to be taken as 64. And, and the question also very clearly says find out an approximate answer. So approximately 66.66 or whatever. Uh, you know, 64, 64 percentage option 3 is the answer. Okay. Now, looks like some of you have got confused here in why I have added 50. So, let me explain this again. We are trying to find out people who do not know either. 
how will you get people who do not know either of these from the total number of people i should subtract people who know who know computers and people who know typing so i subtracted people who know computers and i have also subtracted people who know typing but what happened when i subtracted 90 and 90 i also subtracted see this 90 i have already explained right this 90 includes people who know computer operation and also people who know computer operation and typing 90 is not exclusive for computer operations only 90 is total number of people who know computer operation but out of these 90 there will be some people there will be some people who know typing as well you getting it the word only is not used here knowing computer operation only is not used here suppose if this this for example for for the sake of uh, argument let's assume if the word only is used here people who know computer operation only people who know typing only in that case i'll not sub, uh, sub uh, uh, you know what do you say in that case i'll not add 50 i'll subtract 50 because there are 90 people who know computers only there are 90 people who know typing only and then there are 50 people who know both so i have to subtract all these values so 90 90 and 50 would have been subtracted here why did i add 50 because the words only have not been used meaning there are 90 people who know computer operation there are 90 people who know typing there are 50 people who know both out of this 90 understand out of this out of this 90 people who know computers and out of this again 90 people who know typing there are 50 people who know both which means this 90 can be split as 40 people who know computers only and 50 people who know computers plus typing similarly this 90 can be split as 40 people who know typing only and 50 people who know both typing and computers if you if you understand it that way out of 90 there are 40 who know only computers similarly out of this 90 there are 40 who know only typing there are 50 who know computers and typing and 50 who know computer typing and this 50 is same this 50 and 50 are same group so if i have to find out how many people know both computer and typing i'll take 40 people who know only computers plus 40 people who know only typing plus 50 people who know both you understand 40 people who know only computer 40 people who know only typing plus 50 people who know both i'll not add one more 50 here this 15 and this 50 is same so what is 40 plus 40 plus 50 80 plus 50 130 So, if you are comfortable with this kind of a calculation, then what do you do? Three sixty minus one thirty. Three sixty minus one thirty, same two thirty. You you understand? You can do it in two ways. Either you take three sixty minus ninety minus ninety plus fifty, or you can say three sixty minus forty minus forty minus fifty. Both will result in two thirty only. What is the difference here? Ninety people know typing. Ninety people know computers. Out of these ninety, there are some people who know computers. Out of these ninety, there are some people who know typing. And that those many people have been counted twice. So I am adding it one time to balance it out. In this calculation, three sixty minus forty minus forty minus fifty. Forty people knows computer only. Forty people know typing only, and fifty people know both computer and typing. So all three have to be subtracted. So three sixty minus One thirty is two thirty, or three sixty minus one eighty. One eighty plus fifty is two thirty. Anyway, final answer is two thirty by three sixty, approximately sixty four percentage. Option three. I hope all of you understood this. Yeah, clear to all of you. I uh, see. I had spent so much time explaining it the second time because I saw many of you getting confused that why was I adding fifty. If if you are confused with why adding fifty, then do it the other way. No, find out only people who know only typing, people who know only. Computers and then subtract all forty, forty, and fifty. You'll get the same two thirty as answer. Uh, we have Nishok here who says I'm confused with total number of staff differs from individual total. Total number of staff differs from individual total. Yeah, because there will be some people who do not know either. No, there can be people who will not know uh, who will not know computers and who will not know typing. So that's the reason total is differing. Don't get confused. Like fifty no computer operation, forty no typing, thirty no both. For example, and then we are saying total is two hundred. How is it balanced? Because there will be people who are, who are, who have none of these two skills, and that exactly is this question. No, what percentage of the staff do not know either of these things? Let's let's go to the next one now. Next question on your screens here. See what it says. What is the total number of graduate staff members with zero to three years of service, knowing only computer operation and only typing? What's the total number of graduate staff members? Graduate staff members. So we don't have to worry about non-graduates. We are focused on graduates this time, right? In the previous question, the breakup of graduate versus non-graduate was not required. But this time, 
we are focusing only on graduates with zero to three years of service zero to three years of service meaning the first row let's not worry about the second and third row knowing only computer operation and only typing who know only computer operation only typing now look at this what are the numbers we are looking at 40 30 30 100 see because we want to focus on graduates so we are not looking at the bottom right values because these are non graduates so what is the total number of graduate staff members having 0 to 3 years of experience knowing only computer operation only typing see 40 people know 40 people know computer operation 30 people know typing 30 people know both now only computer operation only computer operation how many people you know out of 40 you have to subtract those who know both so 40 minus 30 that means only computer operation is 10 similarly only typing how many people know only typing the total number of people who know typing is 30 but we also know that there will be some people who will also know computer operations here how many are those those who know both minus 30 zero what is the total he says total number of people who know only computers and only typing so total is 10 plus 0 which is equal to 10 so option 4 is the answer option 4 is the answer people who know only computer operation is 40 minus 30 people who know only typing is 30 minus 30 0 so suppose the same question says how many people in this category know only typing answer is 0 there is not one there is not even one person who will know only typing all these people who know typing also know computer operation 30 and 30 right all the people who know typing also know computer operation so zero there are zero zero persons who will know only typing so 10 plus 0 10 is the final answer option 4 next question try this one now what is the ratio of graduate staff members having four to seven years of service so again we are talking about graduate staff members having four to seven years of service so only look at these values 60 80 30 and 230 graduate staff members having okay i think there are two parts to this question by the way he's asking about ratio right ratio of graduate staff members having four to seven years of service who do not know typing who do not know typing who do not know typing so let's find this number out first ratio of this to this non-graduate staff members having over seven years of experience not knowing computer operation so first of all let's focus on this graduate staff members having four to seven years of service who do not know typing graduate staff members having four years of four to seven years of service do not know typing now in these values what do we have to find out graduate staff members having four to seven years of experience who do not know typing 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 what do you do very simple out of total number of staff members 230 subtract those staff members who know typing you will get the number of people who do not know typing yes or no total 230 people are there in this category 4 to 7 years category for graduates out of that I am subtracting all those who know typing 80 people know typing so obviously 230 minus 80 will not know typing now whether they know computer operations or not doesn't matter but these people 230 minus 80 people do not know typing 80 people total there are 80 people who know typing i'll subtract those 80 230 minus 80 is to now look at the second part in the second part he says let me change the color so that you don't get confused here right in the second part we are talking referring to what non-graduate staff members having uh, over seven years of service non-graduate 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 is this having seven years of service is this and now we should focus on these values seven years of a category and non graduate category so bottom right values non graduate staff members having over seven years of experience not knowing not knowing computer operations how do you get people not knowing computer operations there are total 160 people in this category out of which 40 people know about computer operation out of 160 people there are 40 people who know about computer operation so if i remove these 40 from 160 i'll get all those people who do not know who do not know about computer operation that's your answer so 230 minus 80 is 150 160 minus 40 is 120 150 is to final answer 150 is to 120 5 is to 4 option 4 is the answer 
clear? So the moral of the story is when you are dealing with such questions, right? Identify the categories very clearly. Are you referring to row one or row two or row three? Are you referring to graduates or non-graduates? Half of the confusion will get solved. Will, will get sorted out once you know which numbers you have to talk about, which which numbers you have to refer to, and then it becomes easy. And then it becomes easy for you to work on whatever numbers are given to you. Who know typing, who do not know typing, only typing, only computer, all that can be done. Once you know which numbers are you talking about. Okay. Let's move on to the next question from the set. Yeah. If 15 more graduates are starved who have knowledge in both computer operation and typing, then find the percentage increase of graduate staff upon the staff knowing both in 0 to 3 years of service. So again, First of all, let us clarify which sections are we referring to. We are referring to graduate staff and 0 to 3 years of service. You can read the question later, but let's get the clarity first. We are referring to 0 to 3 years of service and we are referring to the graduate staff, meaning these values 40, 30, 30, 100. Now, which of these values are required, we'll deal with later, but we have to refer to these numbers. Now, 15 more graduates are staff who have knowledge in both computer operation and typing. See, 15 more graduates who have knowledge in both computer operation typing. Currently, there are 30 people who have knowledge in both computer operations and typing. There are 30 people who have knowledge in both computer operation and typing. We are adding 15 more people to this. So 30 plus 15. 30 plus 15. Total 45. Yes, 15 more graduates are staffed who have knowledge in both computer operation typing. Then find the percentage increase in the graduate staff. Find the percentage increase in the graduate staff upon the staff knowing both. Now, what's the percentage increase? See, percentage increase here is nothing but the actual increase, which is equal to 15, divided by the initial value. You understand? 15 more graduate staff who have knowledge in both computer operation typing, then find the percentage increase of graduate staff upon the staff having, upon the staff having, uh, upon the staff knowing both in 0 to 3 years of service. You know what is percentage increase, right? Final minus initial by initial into 100. Final minus initial is nothing but the difference, which is 15. By initial. Initially, how many people were there knowing both? So, in fact, we are actually not referring to uh, computer operation or typing. We are referring to both. Further clarifies, we have to deal with only these values. Right? Only graduates, 0 to 3 years experience, knowing both. So, 15 by... Uh, find the percentage increase of graduate staff upon the staff knowing both. Okay, now... I think one, one important point here is find the percentage increase of graduate staff. So percentage increase of graduate staff is 15 upon, upon meaning with respect to the staff knowing both. Now understand this time when he says staff, he has not referred to graduate or non-graduate. There is no mention of graduate or non-graduate. Which means what? He is referring to overall staff. Which means total has to be taken. Total of graduates plus non-graduates. See, this is only for the sake of explanation that I'm writing here. You don't have to do all this in the exam, right? It is just for your understanding. You can do that mentally, right? He, we know that 15 more graduates have been added. So 30 became 45 in this section, which, which knows both. Now find the percentage increase of graduate staff. Percentage increase of graduate staff will be actual increase which is 15 upon the staff knowing both see staff knowing both is 30 plus 15 30 staff 30 graduate staff knowing both 15 non graduate staff knowing both into 100 so answer will be 15 by 45 which is one third one third is how much 33.33 and hence option 3 is the answer some of you must have got this answer is 33.33 percentage I'll tell you where many of us will go wrong. Some of you must have taken 15 by 13 to 100. Because increment is 15. Remember, this 15 is the increment. Let, let me indicate very clearly. Don't get confused. I think the problem here is similar numbers are used. This 15 here is this one. And to clarify it further, this 15 that we have used in the denominator is this 15. Many of us will go wrong in, in this calculation here. We'll take 15 by 30. I'll, I'll tell you why some of us will take 15 by 30. Because um, just a second. 
Yeah. So why do we take 15 by 30? Because he says find out the percentage increase of graduate staff upon the staff knowing both. So increment is 15, which is fine. But you may consider that since we are talking only about staff who are graduates, you will take this 30 in the denominator. Which is incorrect. This is wrong. This would be a wrong calculation. Because he says upon the total staff, nothing has been mentioned here. If he says upon the graduate staff, upon the non-graduate staff, then we would have taken either 30 or 15. But he says upon the staff, which means both 30 plus 15. So that is the reason 30 plus 15 has to be considered here. So 15 by 45, one third. One third is 33.33. Those who have taken 15 by 30 and got the answer as 50 percentage are incorrect. They are wrong because you have considered only the graduate staff knowing both. Here he has not specified that. He says staff knowing both. So it has to be both. 30 plus 15, 45. So a little tricky one, but be careful. I, I think that's the whole challenge, right? In these kind of questions, solving the question is not difficult. Picking up the right values is very, very important, right? Picking up the right values is very, very important. So, so choose the numbers. So always clarify first. He's referring to graduates or non-graduates. Is he referring to zero to three years experience or you know, three to seven years experience or more than seven years experience. Is he referring to people who are talking about, I mean, is he talking about people with computer knowledge or people with typing or with both? Once you're clear with what numbers you have to deal with, then you can just use the formula. Is he, all the questions that we have solved are either ratios or averages or percentages. X is what percent of Y, X is what percentage more than Y, X is what percentage less than Y, right? What's the percentage change between these two values and so on. Okay, so, that's about it, I think. A very interesting question from data interpretation. Mm -hmm.